One of the times when I escaped my house because I was running away, I ran across my uh, science teacher. I was 12 years old, I was hiding out in a mall, and we had a conversation where I let him know that I couldn't go home. Um, he asked me if I was hungry, if like what I was gonna do, where I was gonna stay, that sort of thing. I don't remember details of the conversation. He offered to bring me to his house and to feed me and to figure it out. And he just said like, look, I, I need to do something for a minute, but I'll be right back. And he didn't come back. That night, unfortunately, I ended up taking um, an invitation to go and eat with someone who turned out to be a rapist. And I'll put that video down here. When I finally did return to school and the backstory video will explain it, my science teacher act like nothing ever happened. We never had a conversation and he knew I was in crisis. Other teachers, I believe, saw a child that was a wounded child. Unfortunately, I think unfortunately, I didn't have any scars or marks on the outside. The sexual abuse that I was going through didn't leave a mark. The emotional violence, of course, doesn't leave an outside mark. So those teachers that I had that saw that there was something going on took extra time and care with me. They were extra nurturing towards me and that helped me a lot. What they didn't do was dig a little bit deeper to try to figure out, you know, how they could help more or what was going on. And I don't know if they thought I was just being neglected. I'll, I'll never know that. I do know that when I was trying to tell by testing the waters, I would say that my mother was mean. That was a common phrase that I would use. And it would always be met with, or almost always be met with, oh, you know, kids and parents, and you know, parents want what's best for you, and that sort of thing. This is a part of the reason that I do trainings with social workers, police officers, educators, anyone working with children. I do sensitivity trainings. Because if we know how to talk to children, if we know how to approach them and the signs to look for, we're better equipped to be able to help them.